Welcome to That 8-Bit Shit Show Unplugged, where we play games so that you don't have to. You hear that amazing noise in the background. Add once again, I need to adjust. What? Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> oh, my mic's too, my boom is too high. Epic drop, Tom. So, hey, that was an epic drop. <laughs> That's a throwback. You can hear in the background here, we have got some uh, exciting stuff coming up this evening. We are playing a classic that is Doom on uh, MS-DOS. So, Tom, take us in. Let's get okay, going on let's, this. Let's jump into some Doom. Oh, we've got the end credits ready. I finished. <laughs> Completed it, mate. Uh, as you can see, we, we have a little bit of cropping. Our production manager just let me down. Ah, it's I, fine. I did brief him on the scale we needed and obviously told him wrong, but yeah, my boss always briefs me on stuff badly. And Tom, this time. is the shit show. It's fine. Well, what are we doing now? We're going to jump into a new game. We're going to we play are. episode one, Knee Deep in the Dead. We're going to play it on... Should we, should we go for easy? I think, yeah. It's, it's a showcase, isn't it? We want to get through it. Well, we're not going to get through anything, but... Oh, here we right. Go. So... In hell. Wow. I'm Doom. looking forward to playing this this week. I you played it on too. Switch recently. Did you? Yeah, okay. it was super cool with dual analog sticks. I'm does not it very play really well? It does. I'm not very au fait with the mouse and keyboard shooter. And oh. I'm playing with this 10 quid mouse off Amazon that was pink. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. Gone are the days yeah. where I have to clean my mouse ball. <laughs> so this was... Uh, Doom was released in 1993, uh, developed by ID Software. It, um it's id, id software. Is it id? I've yeah, always called it, it no, id. This is, this is a raging debate. Oh, uh, well... John okay. himself said it was id. I've always called it id and I'm not changing. Not. So... <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're going to commit to being wrong, why not? Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's like people who call Shrewsbury Shrewsbury, isn't it? Shrosbar. So, yes, yeah, so this was developed by id software, sorry, uh, for the MS-DOS uh, system, and... Uh, it was developed on the back of a highly successful game. Do you know what that was, Tom? Wolfenstein? Wolfenstein 3D. Spot on. So uh, Mecha, had... Mecha Hitler, one of the greatest video game villains of all time. <laughs> exactly. Well, they had a bit of history, obviously, in FPS. Um, and, I mean, Doom is just an all-out gore, gore fest. I don't know there's a more iconic game than Doom. Like something that's permeated like mainstream awareness yeah everybody knows I mean, I'm Mario what maybe is. but like in terms of PC gaming yeah, it's something that I think pretty much everyone will have played at some point you know anyone that owned a PC around the time um, would have probably at least played Doom a little bit uh, it's iconic isn't it like <laughs> the the hallway shooters were sort of all they, they came from this you know, this this is what defined them, I think. I mean, it suffers from that thing that was big in the time, is that the maze, the levels are mazes. Mm. And that's actually a bit crap. Um, especially when you look at, like, how limited the visuals are. In terms of, I mean, the game looks fine. Like, it looks okay, and it plays well. But when I say limited visuals, in terms of how areas are not really defined, like, everything looks the same. Yeah. So when you have these maze-based levels, it can, like... Because you, you've got a target, like a par target to finish the level in. And if you ever don't, it's normally because you're looking for where the fuck you're supposed to go. Yeah, I think it just it's one of those games that you spend time in and learn exactly where to go after you've played it so many times. Um, because you're right, there aren't any real landmarks. Everything looks pretty nigh on the same throughout the whole game. Um, so you don't get much visual change. Uh, yeah, it so manages to conjure, especially in the later levels, like... A really cool sense of dread. Well, yeah, even okay, listen like, to the it's sounds. Like, it's like it is. It's like a pretty nihilistic kind of game. Back in the day, I remember it being really scary. Like just because of the sounds of this, the the hell yes, creatures. Oh yeah, nice. Cheers. I got my frozen Corona. Chin fucking Corona. Shit beer for shit cunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. You dirty. <laughs> Slag, exactly. Shotgun man, the we second well the honest. second most iconic get gun in Doom after the super shotgun. Oh man, the shotgun. No, the super just... shotgun's the one, the Doom Two super shotgun, the double barrel motherfucker. <laughs> the greatest yeah, gun in video games. Like when yeah. I play Doom Two, I don't play with any other weapon. 
you just go for the super shotgun and that's it. Why not? Nice. Um, so uh, on the back of this release in 993, this this uh, came out on a few other platforms. Um, and due to its immense popularity, it had a an enhanced version later on then in 95, which was Ultimate Doom. That's what I'm playing. Are you actually playing Ultimate Doom? Yeah, playing Ultimate, oh, okay. yeah. It's the one I've got on okay. Steam. I just, it's just well, the best version, isn't it? Is it? I mean, it's the same game, essentially, with some uh, enhancements and an extra level. Uh, so you, well, you're still looked, getting it, the... It looks better. But playing Doom in 93 didn't look like this. <laughs> Not quite. Um, so, yeah, it it's probably is the best way to experience it. Uh, it's so you, fast, isn't it, Adam? Well, that's what defined it, isn't it? It's, it's completely relentless. Well, it's pre-aiming down sight stays. Well, it's pre-having a Y-axis as well. Yeah, yeah, that kind of... Well, Duke, Duke Nukem 3D was, I think, the game that kind of... That I remember for the, the Y-axis, the Z-axis aiming, Y-axis, whatever, you know, vertical bullshit aiming. Vertical, yeah. Um. See, this is what I mean. It's, it's too dark in places. I'm not criticising, like, the game for design flaws. It was mm. fucking monumental. Yeah, because, I mean, so the, you're basically taking the role of uh, a space marine known as Doom Guy. Doom Guy. Basically, <laughs> basically the exact guy that Master Chief ripped off. Yeah, so, I mean, he's a direct rip-off as well, if you look at them. Oh, uh, fucking secret area, bro. Oh, yeah. How do I get in there? I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing about this, isn't it? It's like, you, you just have to keep... Look how intimidating that you get room some looks. It's proper alien, isn't it? Jesus. Right, what have we got here? Where's the so blue... You... I'm looking for the blue door. You're doing is you're fighting the uh, the spawn of hell who have invaded. So, n so no holds barred. Yeah. So my understanding of the Doom franchise, right, I'm going to tell you what I think. I might be totally wrong. Of no, generally what happens to Doom games is that there's a mining colony on Mars mm -hmm. and they have somehow mined through into a portal to hell. <laughs> is that generally what happens in Doom? That's kind well, of... Like... I didn't read that that was exactly what was going on. All I all I got from it was I think the I might fact like that Doom Three explained more of that. Or... Well, for this one, they just say the demons of hell have invaded, and you've got to fight your way out of it. Uh, it doesn't really say much more than that. But if you look at where we are, we're, we're clearly in some kind of well, facility of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, I, I was sure it was like a mining. Like it doesn't matter like at all. I mean, this game isn't about the story. Let's be honest. It's all about the gunplay and the. The sort of the jump scares and the horror that are in there because there, there are you know right yellow key some horrible enemies sourced really kind of iconic enemies but my favorite doom enemy dude is the big fucking floating one-eyed cyclops grinning death horror oh, that appears yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. doom 2 do they appear yeah. in this one? they must be in this one because the actual icon from doom on my desktop is one of them it's got to be isn't it i, I can't remember but i, I get confused I'm with probably lost, bro. <laughs> I don't look to me for help because I don't know. Uh, I mean, I can pull up a map, but this is the only. It's going to help you. I've got a blue. There you go. I've got the blue. Hey. So, what are your thoughts on how it actually plays? It just played perfectly. Yeah. Like. Right. <laughs> this is <laughs> that's that's as much as there is to it. This this is how a shooter should play. Like an old school shooter, it's a different kind. Like the the kind of old school shooter has become a thing, hasn't it? Mm. Like, don't aim down sights. You got a health bar, not regenerating health. You're um, not ducking behind cover and any of that shit. It's run and gun. Oh, I've got to get so, the yeah. stairs. That's it. The stairs come up. And then you can go out. Nice. Did you play this as a kid? Yeah. So nice. Doom was released. Um, there's it's it's an episodic game, which I didn't realise until I was an adult because I thought no, I finished I Doom. So yeah, what you play? Do you remember the term shareware? Yeah, I do, yeah. Go on. Remind us. So Shareware was a pre-demo, and it was mm -hmm. when they used to release games for free. And normally, there'd be a proof of concept to then entice you to buy later on. Well, episode one of Doom, which is like, well, I'm counting now, like one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven levels, Yeah. was Shareware. Okay. If you beat the seven levels, which ends with the demon... Uh, the two demons that come out are like kind of toilet cubicles at the end. Right, yeah. Uh, that's just episode one B. Holy and shit. Then, it, then you would get a thing saying, wasn't that banging? Sa send a stamped addressed envelope or a cheque for 20 quid to Man. id software and we'll mail you the game. I remember this now. 
Yes. And that's what you would get at the end of games. Like, and like for ninety nine point nine percent of people, playing Doom meant playing Episode One of Doom. Yeah. Well, it was certainly the case for me. And where did you get your shareware? You got it on PC magazines and. Oh yes. Yeah. Because we, we weren't downloading shit back then. Floppy disks, wasn't it? Well, in front of PC Max. Definitely had CDs, I think. I definitely had this on like CD, but was it? Okay. I think so. Like, well, don't forget, Windows ninety five is the era of CD ROM, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Oh, you got the machine gun. Uh, the chain gun. Nice. What's the most iconic gun apart from the super shotgun? The BFG. The BFG. The, the big <laughs> fucking gun. <laughs> they didn't fuck about it, did they? With the name in. What's this gun? It's a big fucking gun. Right, uh, I've got the toxic protection on, so let's go down the passageway. See, that's really cool as a design element. That's awesome. Here we go. What have you got there? What gun? Uh, the fuck you gun. <laughs> oh, nice. It's the second time you've referred to a fuck you gun in recent weeks. Well, I mean, like, what else you call it? <laughs> you had one in Robocop vs. Terminator? That... <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, basically. Fuck you, fuck you. You can't fuck off. I think we should put a language warning on our videos, Tom. No, fuck them. <laughs> no, fuck them. <laughs> so, uh, what other entries from the Doom series have you played? And if what your you kids, missed? if you're letting your kids watch two fucking middle-aged blokes on the internet play Doom, well, then you're a shit parent anyway. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't let my no, kid watch fair. this. Well, I mean, no, I wouldn't either. It's a fair, fair comment. Have you played... Um, what, what Doom games have you played then throughout the series? All. You played all of no, them? No, I haven't. So, okay, Doom 1, Ultimate Doom, and all the renditions of that, I've played many renditions of Doom 1. I'm not entirely right. sure. Because it was a very, like, probably the most modded game in all of history. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe Unreal Tournament or Quake takes that, that biscuit. But, yeah, um, yeah. By the way, I'm just running around now. I'm talking. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just <laughs> so, Doom two, I played. Doom three was the one that was like really pushed the bar, like reinvented the series. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Doom sixty four, I've had a double with, but only recently. I've got that on Switch. Okay. Uh, Doom twenty sixteen reboot of Doom. I've played. I have not played Doom Eternal yet. No, same. That's on my list. But um, I agree with you. Doom three, man. That game was unbelievable like that was proper scary you know doom 3 is a really really good game like even today like it even looks great today mm. i could go back and play that again i still got it actually it was it. it was like a lot of things with generational leaps like you know how there's this big talk about ray tracing at the minute yeah yeah, yeah. like which really annoys me like it's a new fucking thing i was ray tracing renders like years ago it's just they were still images so yeah, yeah, you could do it years ago. Ray tracing in real time is very different, difficult. And people, mm. going on a side, people say like, ooh, the PlayStation 5 comes with ray tracing. No, it doesn't. Ray tracing is a software fucking level thing. It's just a lighting engine. Like, stop. People talk like they're not about it. It's fucking yeah. annoying. Well, no, it's great. It's really cool that they're doing it. But people talk like it's a new thing and it's just not. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just something that's being done in real time now. Um. Anyway, that side, Doom 3 looked so fucking amazing because the lighting engine yeah it was a new lighting engine it was something that hadn't been done before it were like graphical like masterminds you know oh, man when you step into that world and like the dark areas are too dark horrifying they're too dark but they're fucking horrifying because you don't know what's coming at you and when i was yeah. playing doom on switch recently yeah, yeah. I ended up turning the brightness all the way up so I could actually see in the dark areas because like, <laughs> this is just fucking irritating. Because later Fair on enough. in the game, they, they play with light and dark a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a cool concept though, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know. How long are we going for? Should we finish so, this level and wrap up? Let's do that, but I've got some facts I wanted to go through. I've gone on to mentalfloss.com. I'm going to quote some of their facts. At least you haven't gone on to fact, realfacts.com or whatever you were on <laughs> Mega facts or whatever it was. So, uh, Mega definitely true. This is an interesting one. The name Doom came from a Tom Cruise quote, and can you tell me which film that was from? Um, Top Gun. It was not from Top Gun. <laughs> it was from... Well, what do you mean it comes from a quote? What was the quote? Doom. Well, I'll tell you now. <laughs> So it was, it was a scene in uh, The Colour of Money, oh, in which... We've got, we've got to find... Uh, we've just got to flip that switch to get up there. Yeah. So Cruz's character pulls out his custom cue case at a pool hall. Awesome. Okay, yeah. And uh, 
so programmer John Carmack was reminiscing at this point, and he said uh, in this scene, some guy asked Tom Cruise, what do you have in there? And <laughs> Tom Cruise says, doom, <laughs> with a cocky grin. And uh, Jesus, man. Tom Cruise and he, sucks. Yeah. He said that and the resulting carnage was how I viewed us springing up in the game industry. Wow, so, what a bullshit quote. Yeah, there you go. thought that was quite interesting. I thought uh, I almost found the end of the level then, and then I fucking unfound it. <laughs> Do you know what this game is going to be called, Tom? Um, no. <laughs> Attack of the Attackers. <laughs> 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 but they said that if title... I made a, a game, I'd give it a shit name. Like that. <laughs> said the title was too silly, so they didn't just, go with it. Yeah. It's fucking right. It is too silly, but yeah, you would definitely make a game like that. Doom's also like such an awesome name because it's so it's so oppressive, isn't it? Do, like Doom is the scariest thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why. So do you know the Oblivion at Alton Towers? Uh huh. Yeah. The, I was watching a documentary about how that was made because you know lockdown, we've run out of things to watch. <laughs> you know, yeah. Scraping I was the watching a documentary about the design concept behind it, and they said that Doom was not the game, but the feeling of Doom was the leading design concept behind it. And so they said, sense. what does oblivion mean? And they said, it's the state of being forgotten. And it's like, whoa, that's deep as Jesus fuck. Christ. All right, Alton Towers, calm down. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Jesus. Wait, why am I back here? I don't know. You, you got yourself lost again. Uh, Doom was conceived as Aliens meets Evil Dead 2, apparently. Yeah, so... I get that, because I, obviously then, I didn't know that they had Evil Dead 2 listed as an influence or an inspiration Evil Dead 2 is one of the greatest films ever made and yes it is as it leads into Evil Dead 3 with the boomstick that's clearly the inspiration for the super shotgun mm. yeah man so Ash has got like the fucking chainsaw strapped to his arm by that point and, yeah because uh... the chainsaws in Doom and this is... but yeah. I'm, I'm lost well I think you can find it I've got faith in you but you know you know what nah. you're not going to bother fair enough so we're going to come at you with loads more facts and interesting tidbits on doom when we do the episode uh for that 8-bit shit show so that's been a little insight into, into what the game looks like how it plays uh absolutely iconic game and i'm looking forward to, to jumping in and getting some more game time with that this week um tom thanks for giving us a showcase of of that and uh you can catch the full episode of doom over on happiergaming.net we'll catch you again next time oh mate i forgot to press record fuck off no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs>